What's going on? It's me, it's me, it's the P-I-R-M, me, coming back, and nigga, ah, I can't even do it, whatever. Anyways, uh, it's me, it's me, it's the P-R-I-M, me, coming at you guys with some quarantine and chill, like as you can say, I don't know. Uh, anyways, this is, I'm gonna call this quarantine content because everybody needs content and everybody needs something to watch while they have nothing to do all day. So I decided I'm gonna start just watching shows. I'm gonna watch... This show, Kim Possible. If you guys like it, I will continue to watch it. Um, maybe I'll try to watch an, another show like The Simpsons or something like that. Um, I'm on um, Disney Plus, so I decided why not just watch uh, different shows, you know. I have nothing better else to do really that much. Uh, so, we're going to start from all zeros. This is Season 1, Episode 1, The Crush. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at KVNG Primetime. And, um, I just gotta say, though, like, seriously, it's a lot of people in this. Like, it's, it's Christy Carson Romano. You got Wilfred L, of course. It's awesome. Uh, you have, uh, Taj, which I love. Taj. Taj is awesome. Uh, TJ. And, um, it has more people in it, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, my favorite character, for no reason at all, is, a uh, Senior 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 junior is a senior 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 junior the junior guy of the seniors i don't know why he's funny but uh anyways we're gonna start in three two one play all right spirit week dance friday he's looking for rufus on the first episode oh that's an old banana There goes that naked mole rat. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I used to have that. Does anybody remember the Disney Channel? I don't know if it was a CD or soundtrack. And like they did like original like uh, music videos. I can like vividly remember. One was for Rufus and Ron. It was like the naked mole rap. Oh. Oh, yeah, hold up. I'm your basic average girl, and I'm here to save the world. You can't stop me because I'm cute. Possible. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> it, it just call my name. She goes awesome, too. Try me, beat me, if you wanna reach me. <laughs> it's so okay. Oh, and I forgot they got, um, they got, um, uh, uh, Ron Swanson. Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Why did I forget his name? Patrick Wilborn. Right? Am I, am I tripping? Yeah, Patrick Wilborn. Right? Am I just tripping? Because I swear. I'm thinking of a lot of names right now, but I know who, I know who I'm talking about. Let me just... Come me, beat me, if you wanna reach me. What's the stitch? Let me just make sure, cause uh. By the way, uh, Shigo, in the actual uh series, in the in the actual live action movie, was 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 amazing. <laughs> Patrick Wilborn. Okay, I was right. I just had to make sure. Anyways, let's get back into this. And she cannot form a sentence. Um, I forget. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about that. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be rambling on a little bit. I'm gonna be talking and watching, paying attention and talking. Uh, that's kind of what I do here, ramble. Anyways, uh, I vividly remember like a Disney DVD or like a Disney soundtrack where they had like theme songs or just different original songs. Uh, I remember they had one. Like I said, it was a Naked Mole rap. And one was for that so Raven, and it was like, hmm, how can I put this? That was like in the in the in New York, look like I don't know. That was in the city of a building, and like, um, hmm, just know they was in the building singing that that's so Raven theme song. They had a dance break and everything. Orlando Brown was like in the top of a building rapping for his part. It, it was. Wow, really, Draken? <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. He just punched the camera. 
like like you just got right there into the camera. You like didn't blow the ship off. Like you ain't like you know shoot a cannon at the ship. You just got right in there so they can see your face. All right. And Kim knows everybody. She gets a ride from everybody. Look at Rufus. Right. So, Ron has, they both had the black shirt and stuff here. Ron, um, in the intro has a blue shirt. I wonder why that is. Like his spot shirt is a blue shirt. I don't, I wonder why that is. I don't know. And how did this come to be? Like, how did she come to pick Ron? Even though Ron is like, just because Ron is her best friend, yes. But like, Ron has like. Is is she always have to save him? He literally does nothing right. I mean, you know why? But then again, maybe I, I haven't watched the show in a while, so maybe he has a, a quality that I don't know about. But they literally just kind of like left school to go to go here. So like, can can they do that? Is that legal? Is that why he hangs out with her so he can leave school whenever he whenever they want to? That would be a cool excuse, though. Be like, "Hey, I gotta go save the world, so uh, <laughs> I I do your little paper later." <laughs> uh, that's funny. Just two in that big building. Okay. Oh my gosh! Let me tell you about this grappling hook. Kim and his grappling hook in the movie was uh, was was obnoxiously annoying, but that's just me. Oh, Ron, Ron! I just why do I feel like Ron Stoppable's character is so close to the way that Will Friedle acts on Boy Meets World? Like I feel like uh, Eric Matthews is the live action version <laughs> of Ron Stoppable. I mean. Come on. Is this more like season uh season season not even not even season seven. Season five, Eric. Season five going into season six, Eric, is is what I feel like it is. <laughs> oh wow. She is actually like pretty skilled. How do you see that in the look? Uh, how does she? All right. Nano chips. Hmm. They got all these. These look like thumb thumbs. She go. She go was a dope character. She had like her. Art was dope. Her color scheme was dope. Her powers were dope. Seriously. Especially in the movie, though. In the movie, though, Taylor, what's the name? Taylor? Taylor Ortega was was amazing. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that every time she goes on the screen. Wow. They just. Wow. That is, they could have killed him, pierced his heart, pierced his soul. He could have died right there. He could have literally just died. Like, you not worried, you ain't screaming, I would have been hollering. Like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. I've been screaming at some hyperventilating, he just, he just sitting there calm. I almost got my heart pierced. Is this the episode? Oh no, they take it. Interest, interesting. Yeah, they just took. Okay. Yeah, that's very interesting. Why won't you just either take over? <laughs> Why won't you just take over the uh, the building? Oh, the, oh, the helicopters. All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. His dad got a little bit of that reverb is going. I like it. I like it. 
And by the way, was her mom a spy in the in the show or a crime fighter in the show? I don't remember. I thought her mom was just a doctor because in the movie, like her mom and her grandma was like, I can still get it. Maybe I just don't remember her mom being I thought her mom was like a doctor, her dad was a scientist or the other way around or something. It was it, very interesting. See, like her mom's a doctor. That would be annoying to me too. It still feels weird. Like, oh my gosh. It's been so long since I watched Kim Possible. So do the twins ever do anything in the series other than be annoying? Or do they just have like that one that one core episode where they help and then the rest of the episodes they just go back to being annoying? You need a date called Ron. How much do you think he paid for that advertisement? How much to put it on the national school? Not national, but to put it on the, like the school wide on the on the on the billboard. That means people at the school can see it. People passing by can see it. People that live in the houses close by the school can see it. That must be a lot of money. Wow. He should have timed that. Oh, wow. He was quick. He's quick. Quick like a tiger. Or something. No, don't do it, Ron. Don't sneak up on... Oh, wow. Uh, why did I know he was just going to sneak up on him like that? Why do... Why, uh, why wouldn't you just... I guess it's hard for, Why won't you even write him a letter... Say something, text them, or text them was, was then. You could text then. I mean, you are technically famous. Why are you? Kim is, I don't understand this show. I do and I don't. She's famous. Her, her face is all over the paper. She saves the world every single day. She leaves school to save the world. But yet she has, quote, she has won a bully. And she's afraid to talk to boys, which don't automatically approach her. Which I find weird. But if you literally see a girl that fights crime on the news every day, saves the world, not just in, in, in their town, but, but worldwide, and she defeats somebody that has powers. <sighs> All right. Hey, Brian trying to shoot his shot with everybody. This man is really trying to shoot his shot with everybody. Which, I'm assuming, he will end up going with Kim anyway. Because that's just how this show, I'm assuming, works out. I thought... I thought... I Wait a minute. I thought Kim can do all that. Balance all them. Or be on top and, and like, like, can, like, function. Oh, well, the, she has a crush. Well, I guess that's, that, hell, that, whatever. I guess that makes the situation better or understandable, but. And she has a, a, a oh, Kim, why do you have a picture of this guy? Yeah. So what is that like a like a school? Uh, I just gonna chop him off right there. Everybody says that to Kim. She says thank you, and they say, "Oh, that's the least I can I can do after you save me from so and so and so." They treat Kim nice, and then they treat Ron like crap. Get out of my face! <laughs> like they just treat them like crap. It's hilarious, actually. 
Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. They did all this just to go snowboarding? I thought y'all was on a mission. Oh, they just made it look fun. That's why I say, uh, weren't y'all just on a mission? Well, I mean... Oh, why didn't y'all just follow where the big building went? How do you let a big building get away? Just put a dragon on it and follow it. Or tell the police to watch it. Why wasn't... Wait a minute. That's, that, why wasn't the police watching the, uh, the, the, the see where they went? It literally is a giant building. But a logic, I guess. And of course, here goes Ron messing everything up. Everything. Almost everything, but mostly almost everything. But I'm pretty sure somehow they're gonna, some way they're gonna still touch the red line because that's what Ron does. He either messed up or just about not mess up. See, this time he just about not messed up. But Rufus does. See, somehow it's always connected to Ron. Somehow. Oh no. Oh, they got her name and everything. Wait a minute. They captured her and they didn't tie her up? Well, that's just stupid. Ah, she gone. Like I said, if you guys have not watched a live action movie, Taylor Ortega's performance is great. At least her performance is. Well, I wasn't really paying attention to her performance, but if you know what I mean. Kissy girl lip gloss. What 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 was the lip gloss? Was that the the laser, or was that the uh... ah? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, y'all ain't laughing now. Um, what what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. If she told Ron to hold his breath, all the people right there didn't just hear her tell him to hold his breath, so they, like, they really all of them people didn't hear nothing she said, but Ron was able to hear it, and all of them. Surprised he was able to, uh, throw it perfectly. He do one thing right in the whole mission to say booyah like he did so. Tracking. Mm. What, the, what? What? Oh, this man making a Megazord. Oh, it's a un. Oh no. This just this just upsets me. It's not a proportioned Megazord size. You got a big upper body and a small lower body. That just don't work. Why don't you just uh get get your um what's the thing called in their pocket? Why don't you just get the uh I forgot what it's called already. You know, just shoot it at one of his legs, I'm pretty sure wrap around the other one. Do like a rope pull. I don't know. Yeah, she does everything. Draken, I mean, what do you mean? Why does she have to be a cheerleader? She does everything. She probably is a, is a master bowler. She probably uh, is a perfect, I don't know, perfect basketball player. Like she, she, she does everything. This Megazord thing is still annoying me because of how unproportioned it is. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, wow. Why would you even... That was so stupid. <laughs> gotcha. That kind of... The top like looked like the thing from... Uh, the Incredibles. 
You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The machine. No, Ron. Yeah, yeah. Just throw him. Mm. See? That. Why don't you just use that? Wrap it around his legs. And go high. While the legs can't really move. Just hit it high. Can you do the double kick while... Oh, wow. I mean, she could easily just move and you shoot your arm off. Password? Did you, did you try password? Konishiwa? What an idiot. What an idiot. Wade can do anything, though. I think Wade is the real brains behind the operation. Oh, Kim and she go about to fight over the control panel. This is going to be... It's always Kim and she go and then Drake and Ron just like there. Like, I don't even think Drake and Ron hate each other. I think Drake and Ron just like... They just... They just... Getting in the same predicaments, like they both the ones that get stuck with the uh getting trapped or something. Shouldn't use this thing three times this episode. Oh, now you want to, Kim? Now you want to wrap his legs up? Well, you could have did that. Now you want to wrap his legs up, Kim? She pulling out all these weapons out of nowhere, though. Has she been here able to use her feet as rockets or her shoes as rockets? The only thing I remember from this show is the 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 uh I why can I not remember what it's called? The one thing she shot out, the lip bomb. She had like a lip bomb laser. Those two are the only things I can I can I can remember. I don't remember the lip gloss. She got a tracker on him? That's weird. So do they end up... So I'm assuming she ends up going to the dance by herself. I mean, by, like, with Ron. She That's just being weird. Well, dang. When you had to bust out the door like that? Wow. Kim, what are you doing? This is painful to watch. What really? That's me. That's see. Now that is 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 messed up. Let's see who did Ron and him taking, or does he only take Rufus, or does he take Bonnie? Oh, what, oh. Hmm. Ah, he got stuck. Hmm. Can't, uh, can't, uh, what's his name? What's dude's name? I forgot already. What's Taj character's name? Ah, uh, I forgot. Can he get him out? Oh, wait, can he not open doors? I don't know. Anyways, cool first episode of Kim Possible. I know I rambled, but I always ramble, so, I mean, hey, it's a conversation in the conversation, okay? I've been on quarantine with nothing to do, so chill. I'm just giving y'all content. By the way, if you want me to do more Kim Possible episodes, let me know. Like I say, I got Disney Plus. I can watch anything on Disney Plus and Netflix. So just suggest things to me. Uh, I might try to watch some episodes of The Simpsons. Or I might try to watch other movies. Just to let me know. Just let me know and I will get to it. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. At KVNG Primetime. Uh, more Kim Possible your way, maybe, maybe, hmm, maybe, hmm, maybe, maybe.
Uh, no, seriously. Uh, prime time is all the time, and prime is out.